Hello everyone, this is Richard here from Terraform Tiny Homes and I'm doing a new segment called Terraform Explorers. Uh, so I recently posted a video about uh, my announcement for doing the Pacific Crest Trail, a uh, 2,650 mile hike uh, from Mexico to Canada through California, Oregon, Washington. And I will be doing that starting April 5th. In preparation, I'm doing my second shakedown hike uh, in Joshua Tree National Park. Uh, coming up these next couple days and basically going from one end of Joshua Tree to the other uh, by foot. It is a 37.5 mile hike and I'm planning on doing it over three days, two nights. Um, and yeah, just kind of want to run you guys through how the hike's going in this video, uh, some gear stuff, my initial impressions, and just kind of create this little document um, going into the Pacific Crest Trail. So yeah, today was uh, a good, good day. Last night and yesterday was crazy rains. Uh, I was in the tiny house. Uh, we were kind of in a, a dry lake bed um, that got a little bit flooded and real muddy and nasty. So just getting the four wheel drive out of that uh, yesterday was kind of a mess, but uh, did it. And then I got dropped off at the trailhead about 11 a.m. Uh, finished up about 420 or so um, and covered about 12.8 miles um, so I was pretty happy with that uh, the trail was just real cruisy easy um, today was actually supposed to be the hard day um, I pending weather we'll see tomorrow but um, today was all the uphills uh, I'm kind of in this little valley now because the wind has just been crazy out here. Uh, but yeah, I found this little valley, found this awesome little spot that I'm kind of protected um, with all these juniper trees, big bushes, um, big mountains. Um, I'm well out of the wash, which is good. Uh, I just kind of came upon like the perfect little, it looks like perfect little spot. So. Um, yeah, I think um, as far as my pack goes, uh, I have, I think, everything that I will have on the PCT um, since Big Bend. Um, I invested in a puffy jacket, so that was, uh, this is like an REI, um, I think it's a 650 or something like that. Got a good sale around Christmas. Um, the other thing I got was my Enlightened Equipment quilt. Uh, so this is its first time out. Uh, so those two warmth things will be wonderful tonight because it's supposed to get down into the low 40s, upper 30s. Um, so we'll see how those things work. Um, but yeah, I uh, feel good. Um, uh, that's it for tonight. Um, I've been trying some cold soaking. Uh, I'm stoveless on this trip because I think I want to do that on the, the first chunk of the desert. Um, so I've got some couscous uh, ready to go and gonna just hopefully have a clear night tonight and enjoy the stars. Uh, Joshua Tree is awesome for the stars. Last night was, once the gigantic storms cleared up, uh, it was amazing. So I'm back at the tiny house and I've successfully completed uh, the California riding and hiking trail through Joshua Tree National Park. Uh, originally I was planning on doing a three day trip. Uh, this turned into a two day trip uh, because the weather was not cooperating at all. Uh, it was cold and windy and gray and got sprinkled on a little bit, never got rain, but uh, it was very concerning clouds pretty much from the beginning of the hike to the end. Uh, the first night uh, I ended up having my sleeping pad split on me, um, which was really unfortunate, so I ended up sleeping on the ground. Um, Thermarest, I've reached out to their customer service because that was the second time I used it and it didn't have any rocks or anything that should have caused that split. Um, I'm not optimistic about them actually replacing it or doing anything for me, so I cannot recommend Thermo Rest. That mat, it lasted two, two hikes, uh, two nights actually, uh, before the fabric split on it and I was sleeping on the ground. 
Uh, so because of the weather, um, because of the potential for rain, and because of just really, really cold winds the entirety of the hike, uh, I ended up doing 12.8 miles the first day and then 25.1 miles the second day. Um, really, really pushed it, but I was really happy that I got it done. Um, looking at my Strava and the my mileage tracker and all of that, um, it was saying if you count just moving time, so obviously not in counting the times it takes to break and to eat lunch and all that, uh, I was averaging like 3.4 miles per hour, um, which is really, really fast. Uh, so typically I'll hike at about a 2.7 mile per hour rate uh, with a backpack. Given the terrain was pretty easy. Um, there was, uh, the first day was the biggest climb, so it was five miles of climbing. Uh, I think like 2,000 feet, something like that. So not nothing, but not, um, you know, the hardest hike I've ever done. Uh, the second morning I did the rest of my uphill, uh, which was uh, a mile and a half and I think a thousand feet of climbing, something like that. From there on, it was downhill, just very gradual. Um, lots of sandy washes, uh, lots of um, just kind of cruisy through the desert not a lot to see kind of trail um there's some really pretty parts of joshua tree with the big boulders and the joshua trees and the big fields full of trees and stuff like that but a lot of the trail was a lot of desert um it was a really good shakedown hike um it was a really good hike for my mental fortitude um for gear testing to see what i like to see what I needed um, to see what I think may not last the PCT, if it makes it to the PCT. And I'll be going through some gear stuff uh, in another video. But yeah, it was, it was a good trail. Um, I was really happy physically um, that I was able to push those over 25 miles in uh, like 10 hours. It was not a long um, time at all. I mean, I think I woke up about 5.45, uh, started breaking down camp a little after 6, was on trail by 7, was done uh, about 3 minutes after 5 o'clock. So, uh, big day, big push, body held up good, um, feeling good, so that was really exciting. I said April 5th is my start date for the PCT, and so I've got like 58 days left, something like that. So. Uh, I'll be doing a gear review, uh, going through what I used, what I liked, what I didn't like, what I'm adding, what I'm taking away, all that kind of stuff here shortly. Um, but yeah, for now, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you're interested in following along. Uh, I'll be doing some more videos with this Terraform Explorers uh, kind of, you know, subset of the Terraform Tiny Homes brand. Uh, if you want full um, video tours and stuff of my homes, uh, this home that I'm sitting in right now. Um, check the links below.